Hey guys, Dara here and welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, welcome. Today I'll be doing the flip the page challenge. I was tagged by Kelsey over at Bookishly Nerdy. I'll leave all her information down in the description box below, as well as Jesse the Reader's information because he is the creator of this tag. I asked everyone over at Twitter and Instagram to send me three numbers. The first number corresponds to the number of shelf. So the first number would be between one and 11. The second number corresponds to the book in that shelf. And I did one through 20 because I do tend to have between 1 to 25 and the last number corresponds to the page in that book so I decided to stick with Jesse the reader and Kelsey and just go with 1 through 400 so now that I've explained all of that badly let's get started question number one you are getting a new identity let the coordinates guide you to a book flip the page you were given and the first name you see is your new name 714 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and the book that was on shelf 7 position 14 is along for the ride by Sarah Dessen I was really hoping to get a fantasy novel because that way my name would be something weird the number I was given was 97 first name I see Leah can I pull off being a Leah are you Leah's out there do I look like a Leah like am I a Leah question number two it's time to get up and move the heck out of town the location of the book your coordinates lead you to will be where you're moving so the coordinates are nine and sixteen six seven eight nine all right so far I'm only picking up contemporary which scares me a little bit page 350 hopefully I don't get spoiled because I have not read this book oh Got to show you guys. The book is Sarah Dessen's The Rest of the Story. This is a fairly new release. It came out on a say March location. Let's see. Found it. Okay, so it was on page 351 because apparently there was nothing on page 350. So I flipped the page. I moved to North Lake. I have no idea where North Lake is. I want to say it could be in the Carolina area. Who knows? But it is probably a fiction place because it is a contemporary story. And I just realized it's another Sarah Dessen book. Would this challenge be so funny if all of my books were Sarah Dessen? Wow. So let's recap. My new name is Leah and I live in North Lake. Question number three. You're all settled into your new home, but you've got to get a job to get the cash money flow and create a job using the first object you find in the coordinates and page number. 316. Okay, so there's only 15 on this shelf, unfortunately, so I'm gonna have to go down one. And it's none other than The Priory of the Orange Tree by Samantha Shannon. 221. Whatever it is that I find is what I'm going to be. I am trying not to read. Governor! <laughs> I'm a governor. My name is Leah. I live in North Lake where I'm the governor. People of North Lake, I don't want to let you down. I will try my hardest to lead you in the right direction. Why does this have to be the most contemporary new life? You've started your job and you've started developing feelings for a coworker. Find the book using your coordinates, flip the page to the page number you were given, and the first character you come across will be the character you're falling for. All right, so the coordinates for that will be 918 going back over here. So the book that was on shelf 918 was Tell Me Lies by Carola Lovering and the page is 190. Haven't read this book either so this is gonna be awesome. And the first name I saw was Diana. Not knowing who Diana is gives me high hopes that maybe this relationship will be absolutely good. It's like a clean slate. I don't know anything about her past. I'm ready for it. This is a contemporary romance. Again, my life is being a contemporary novel right now. Someone should write these details down because it's going to be a good book in the future. Question number five. Using the coordinates and the page number, the first piece of dialogue you come across will be the first thing you say to your potential lover. What are my first words to Diana? 415. Finally, we are breaking this contemporary trend and I got a say my fan fantastical book and that is Tales of the Shadowhunter Academy by various authors and the page I'm supposed to go to is 192. First piece of dialogue. Here we go. Don't look so serious, Jamie. 
Is this gonna be an awkward scenario where I accidentally call Diana by someone else's name? I'm so sorry, Diana. I didn't mean to. I have no words, no excuse, and I apologize, but please don't leave me. And you don't need to know who this Jamie is. Question number six. The line really got to them. Yeah, I really got them to leave me. Next thing you know, you're in love. You're going to propose, but buying a wedding ring is too expensive. Using the coordinates and flipping the page to the page number you were given, the first object you come across will be what you propose with. So I guess Diana has forgiven me for my little slip up. 313. We have the illustrated version of Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone, page 333. Does this have 300 pages? Ooh, it doesn't have 300 pages. So what I'm gonna do is just go down a shelf and pick up the first book. And we come up with The City of Bones by Cassandra Clare. First thing I see will be what I give her as an engagement ring, and that is dice roll. How is Diana still with me? By some miracle, Diana is still with me. She has decided to accept my dice as her engagement present. She has overlooked that I had called her by someone else's name. Question number seven. We arrived at your wedding. Find the book using your coordinates, flip the page to the page number you were given, and the first piece of dialogue you find will be the first line in your vows. This is a lot of pressure because I have to make them good or else maybe she will leave me at the altar. I don't want Diana to leave me at the altar. We've been through so much. 212, we have one dark throne. 245, the first piece of dialogue I see is what I will be saying in our wedding vows and that is... This page is full of dialogue, so I just opened my eyes and went for the center and the first thing I saw was you would choose me as your king. Not bad. I feel like it could have been worse. We're all good here. I think we've managed to say something decent. We're good. She has overlooked many things and that is not the worst thing I have said to her. It's honeymoon time. Wherever the book location that your coordinates leads you to will be the destination for your lover's retreat. Seven and three. That's five, six, seven. <laughs> Te vas a estar haciendo eso, te vas a salir. The book that was spot number three on shelf number seven is Don't Date Rosa Santos by Nina Moreno. I believe it takes place in Florida. Hopefully we will be at the beach. 219, please don't spoil me. So the first location I see will be the destination of our honeymoon and that is I see boat. Because our honeymoon will be on a boat, that means we are in sea waters. Diana and I, we're on a cruise on a boat. Don't know what kind of boat it is, but let's pretend it's a very fancy one. We're all good. Our honeymoon was fantastic. Number nine, things got a little cray on the honeymoon and now you're expecting a baby. Sounds about right. With the next coordinate, find your next book and flip the page to the page number you were given. First name you find will be the name of your firstborn child. 314. Illustrated edition of Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secret. 224. First name I see is Weasleys. Welcome to the world, baby. Now we're five years in the future and my child is desperately begging for a pet. Find the book using the coordinates, flip the page to the page number you were given, and the first creature you come across will be your first pet. Coordinates are 818. The book that I'm going to get my pet from is Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children by Ransom Riggs. This is one of my prized possessions because it is I went to the Ransom Riggs signing here in my town. I read these books in like one week so I could be ready for Ransom and I did. 79 is the page. So I've only looked at the number. I haven't looked at the page. So here we go. I don't see any pet. A worm! Weasley will be getting a worm. He found that worm. Begged me and Diana. I was against it, but Diana's like, oh, come on, it'll teach him responsibility. And I'm like, Diana, Diana, please. It's messy. Then Diana convinced me, and here we are. Weasley has his pet worm. I will never win in this relationship. My love for Diana and my child is too great. All right, question 11. Your child is going to school. Find the book using your coordinates. Flip the page to the page number you were given. Using words on the page, create the name of their school. 418. 
so there's not 18 so I'm just gonna continue counting till the lowest one I am very invested in this new life it started off contemporary but man we're getting some things done in here and the book I found was girls of paper and fire by Natasha Nang and page number is 77 I have read this book it gave it a 5 out of 5 stars and 97 in my own personal scale where is little Weasley going to school he's going to blue courtyard it's a prestigious school only kids who are born into government officials get to go there so little Weasley he's gonna do great things in that school number 12 being a governor was all fun and games but really my passion is YouTube I decided to start a YouTube channel for a side hobby find the book using your coordinates flip the page to the page you were given and find something on that page that will be the core topic of your channel 11 22 so that's all the way at the other end so I'm gonna head on over there be right back. The topic will come out of Vicious by V.E. Schwab. Loved this book. If you like the X-Men, you'll definitely love this. Page number 333. My topic will be on chocolate milk. You guys may not know this, but there are a lot of different ways to make chocolate milk, okay? And my YouTube channel will let you know all of those ways. Sometimes I have Diana come in, demonstrate how to mix it in, you know, just because I like watching her, but you know. That's besides the point. Number 13, find the book using your coordinates, flip the page to the page number you were given, and using words from that page, create your YouTube channel name. Coordinates are 516. My channel name will come from Scarlet. Page number is 350, Commonwealth Military. Well, I was a governor. Okay, all right, it's fine. It's fine. Okay, 14. Find the book using your coordinates, flip the page to the page number you were given, and the first piece of dialogue you see is how you'll greet your viewers each time you start a video. 11, 6. And the book is Broken Throne by Victoria Aveyard, and this is a Red Queen collection. The page is 300. And the first piece of dialogue I read is, I think I'll enjoy our last few hours of maid service. What is this? How would that even make sense? Hey guys, I think I'll enjoy our last few hours of maid service. Now, doesn't that sound natural? Before we continue on, let's just recap on what it is that has happened in my new life. I moved to North Lake. My new name is Leah. I've become the governor of North Lake, and while I was governing, I met Diana. The love of my life and we had a little minor setback but she forgave me because we ended up being married okay I first called her Jamie when I first met her and because being a governor doesn't pay that much apparently I got her rolling dice as an engagement present because who needs a ring these days nobody wants a ring for our honeymoon we went on a boat you know we just cruised the ocean lake whatever it is wherever you take a boat to and we had our baby Weasley where he he grew up and now has a worm as a pet and goes to Blue Courtyard Academy. While he was at school, Diana and I suddenly found we had a lot of time on our hands. So we decided to start a YouTube channel. I called it Commonwealth Military and I talk about chocolate milk. And the way I greet you guys every time I do a new video is I will enjoy my last few hours of maid service. I think that's as far as we got in the story. I have skyrocketed on YouTube, okay? I'm like, everybody wants my advice on how they make chocolate milk, and now I have to write a book about it. And using the coordinates, flipping to that page number I was given, using words from that page, create a book title. Four, 18. And the book is Six of Crows by Lee Bardugo. We're going to page 290 and we're going to see the title of this fantastical book that will be on the New York's best-selling list for years to come. The title of my new book is Chloro Ammonia Ritual. I guess maybe milk is not the topic of this book. It's just a guess. Chloro Ammonia Ritual. What kind of book would that be? I guess it's a ritual in which we decide to disintegrate these chemicals, make them disappear from certain ingredients. All right, number 16. Find the book using your coordinates, flip the page to the page number you were given, and the first line you see will be the opening line for your book. 614. A Thousand Pieces of You by Claudia Gray. Page number will be 399. There's not. So what I'm gonna end up doing is going to the next 
book. All right, and the next book I decided to go with is the next one in the series, and that is 10,000 Skies Above You by Claudia Gray. Here we go. Already, I'm a little confused as to what my book will be about. Sending information will be so much more useful than sending consciousness. So am I trying to build a time machine then? Is that what this is? Number 17, plot freaking twist. The reason you even created a new identity for yourself is because a killer was after you. But well, that went from zero to 100 real fast. They've tracked you down again and they're coming for you. Find the book using your coordinates, flip the page to the page number you were given. First page you see will be your killer. 620. The killer will be coming from What If It's Us from Adam Silvera and Becky Albertelli. Page number is 101. I'm super scared right now. I haven't read this book. All right, so the first name I see is who my killer is and that is Jesse. So Jesse might be a side character. So if he's a side character, I should have seen it coming. Number 18. One day you're setting up to film a YouTube video when you're suddenly struck by the killer. Find the book using your coordinates and the first object you come across is what they use to kill you. 613. Okay, what is it with this? What is so special about shelf six? And the object will be coming from Foolish Hearts by Emma Mills, page 250. The first object I see that has killed me is candles. Not just any candles though. Looks like they were trick birthday candles. I guess candles are my enemies and I should stay away from them now. And last question. Find the book using your coordinates, flip the page to the page number you were given, and the first line you see will go on your tombstone. The last coordinates are four and five. Someone went trigger happy and went with exactly 400, which in this case will work because look at this hunk of book. Katarina Loss, our new pack leader, Maya Roberts. So I guess I changed my name a few more times before I became a leader. That was a wonderful story, you guys. I hope someone decides to contact me and say, hey, build this life of yours into a book. I would agree to that. That is my new life. I came to my demise by trick birthday candles. I will be tagging a few people, but it is up to them whether they want to do it or not. The first person I tag is Ashley. Becca doesn't do many book tags anymore, but totally up to her. And Leah from Leah in 26 Letters. So let me know, Leah. Do I look like a new Leah? Because if it is, I would go down to the courthouse and just change my name to Leah. Thank you guys for watching. Please make sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe if you want to see more of my face and I'll see you in my next video. Bye! Oh, 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 oh,